Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. We are going to make another quilt block because I am in the mood to make a quilt block. <laughs> we are going to be making a four patch block first and then we will be using that block with a third piece of fabric and we will be making half square triangles. So for the four patch, you just need two colors of fabric. You're going to cut four squares Whatever size you choose, I'm going to cut mine, I don't know, probably like six or seven inches each. Let me cut, I'll be right back. I have my four blocks cut. I happened to cut them six inches square. I am going to sew these two together and these two together. I have these sewn. I am going to press them one in this direction, one in this direction. Then the seams will nest when we sew the rows together. I will show you. I pressed this one in this direction, this one in this direction. It happens that I pressed to the light side. Does not matter. It's not going to show at all. Okay, so now I'm going to go put these right sides together. Since we did the seams in opposite directions, it nests. We can feel right there that we've got that connected perfectly. Not that it needs to be perfect, but it's a cool little trick. This is looking awesome. Look how nicely that matched up in the center. Do love. Okay, I am actually going to square this up. And you could certainly have used four different colors if you wanted to. I don't know what kind of a look that would give. I don't know what kind of a look this will give. I've never done this before. <laughs> now I'm going to take my third color and we need a piece big enough for this guy. And you know what we can do? Let's do it. I'm going to put this fabric right here. We're going to put them right sides together. If you want to go ahead and pin that down, you can. I'm just going to go sew all along this block, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. Then we'll trim the fabric off this one. That was super easy. Sew first, then cut. Obviously, if you're making a whole quilt, you would want all your pieces cut, but I'm just going to use the scissors and scissor cut around here. Now we're going to cut on each diagonal, and since I know my ruler is not long enough and my iron is still on, I'm just going to go fold and press open, fold the other way, and press. So I'll have my diagonal lines. I can see that. I am taking these to the iron with the dark sides up. I'm going to just press to set the seam, and then I will take each one, flip it back, and press open. Now we get four blocks that look like this. You can do so many things with this pattern. I am going to show you some ways you can arrange these at the end. When I show you the quilts at the end that I make with my computer, that's all just these blocks. I know some of you think that I've added other blocks. Sometimes I might stick in like a solid color to show you that you can add solid colors in between or sashing, but you're just seeing the blocks that I made and we just turn them in different ways. So I want to point out, when you do the half square triangles like this, you will end up with two blocks that have the dark on the top, then two blocks that have the lighter on the top, or the red, or whatever two colors you use. If you were to make another four, another set like this, you could take these out and then put the other two that match these. So you can do sets of four that match, and I'm going to try to do that at the end of this video also. But you can just do so much stuff. You can turn them like this and have all the colors pointing in. That's not right. Like this. Or you can have all the white pointing in, or whatever color you use. Just so many things that you can do. You could even do something different with this piece if you don't want something so blank, but you can just turn them in all kinds of ways. So just stick around and I'm gonna show you some ways you can manipulate this block into making some really fantastic quilts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.